Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm trying something a little different with my printables. I have created my first junk journal printable kit, and so I'm going to go through and show you what I've created. This kit is a half letter kit. It has weekly inserts, it has monthly inserts, it has junk journal style pages. It's all it has a vintage it's a vintage feel um, kit, but it has ephemera pieces including envelopes, tags, pockets, it has pattern papers. So it, I have a plethora of items that you can pick and choose from to make your own journals. So I'm just going to go through some of the items that I have and I also want to let you know that I did not print these at 100% because the printer that I was testing them on does is not a border it's not a borderless printer so to keep my images in proportion and not be cut off on on the border I uh, reduced them down I think to 90% but if you're printing on a printer that allows borderless printing then you would have no problem at printing a hundred percent okay so the first thing I have here is a complete notebook I have a complete notebook of monthly inserts so these pages I, I printed them on some pretty pretty thin paper but these pages are printed front and back this is the whole notebook here this is what the cover looks like so basically what you would do is do your you know fold these in half do your binding whether you're stapling or sewing and trim the um, excess off if you print it at a lower percent if you print it at a hundred percent borderless then you would need to do any trimming so and this would be like something that you could insert into your traveler's notebook again a monthly insert so also as part of the kit there is an option for a weekly insert and this is what it looks like so you again will fold this in half and trim it up the way you need it and you can print as many of this page as of these pages as you would like to build yourself a weekly planner or you can make them as traveler's notebook inserts this next set will be the pattern papers that come um, as an option with the kit. So you have the pink roses. This is just a coffee stained paper so that you can print this as many times as you like and add your own embellishment to it, stamp it, decorate it any way you want. Then you have the deep floral roses. Then this one is a more country style, shabby chic-ish pattern that you can use. And with these pattern papers, you can print them multiple times. You can use them with your um, metal dies. You can use them to make your own tags. Just any number of things that you can use to incorporate into your journals. That way you're not just limited to the ephemera and... Um, embellishment pieces that I created you can actually make your own and still match the overall look of the kit then here are the uh, journal pages so you can print them front and back I printed them front and back you can print them single-sided do coffee staining on one side you could print them single-sided with grid on the other side you can do this any way you like but here are the page designs And again, you would fold these in half to make your booklets or your journals. Here's just a lined version with plenty of room to journal.
and this is designed to use as a cover or an inside page either way but again you don't have to print these front and back like this you can mix up how you print them front and back it's totally up to you but you have several um, designs to choose from to make your journal so these are printed these are the ephemera pieces they're printed on um, I printed these on cardstock, but you could also print them on like a 30 pound paper or whatever, you know, whatever you choose. These are library cards. This is a library pocket with these little labels. This is the large coin envelope with the insert. This is the small coin envelopes. You get two with the inserts. This is a 4x6 envelope. It's plain so you can stamp, decorate, um, embellish it any way you want. Here's a 2x3 th envelope or 3x2 with the inserts. You can make this insert a booklet style or two individual cards. Totally your choice. Here is another 4x6 envelope. Here are some deco pieces with a few um, label word labels. It, the kit also comes with these tags. These are huge tags. Then you have these two smaller ones. It also includes this sheet of smaller tags. It comes with, let's turn it this way. It comes with these postcards or journaling cards. And it also includes these pockets, these labels, ready for you to customize and embellish the way you want. Now, I know a lot of people enjoy fussy cutting, but a lot of people don't. So what I did in this instance, I also, if you, if you purchase these files from my website at scrapcraftastic.com, they include the free silhouette cut files so I've set all of them up so that you can print and cut with the silhouette so the formats of the pages are a little different because I have to include them in the space with the registration marks but you can actually print and cut using your silhouette all of the embellishment pieces or the ephemera pieces like something like this you wouldn't really need to do the print and cut but I included it just in case you choose to go that route there's the coin envelope here's the library card another envelope another envelope another envelope so you get the JPEG files, the PDF files, as well as the ping file and the studio file. So basically you get any file you could possibly need to print these. And just to show you how they come out with the silhouette, I went ahead and cut all of them. I did the print and cut for all the ephemera pieces. So this is what they look like. Here's the pockets. So just to give you kind of a feel of what you get. You can make a journal mixed with other papers or completely just this vintage pack of papers and um, ephemera pieces just depends on what you want to do I'll be um, mixing mine up so this is what I was telling you about the I mean of course you would ink this edge so you wouldn't have the white line but you can do that with it just the envelope another envelope here are the cards T 
tags. So here is the deco. And again, you can see the white from the card stuck around it, but you can easily ink those edges or you could even do an offset with the silhouette files. So here are all the tiny little pieces that come with it. So again, this is part of this kit is available in my Etsy shop, but if you want the complete kit, it is available on my website at scrapcraftastic.com in the shop. When you go to the shop, look for the junk journal or journaling kits category and all of the journals that I make as well as the journal kits will be listed in that category. And I'll also leave a link in the description box below and I'll put a link in the cards up above. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.